good evening and welcome to her Sunday evening service at Christ Fellowship, Miami, Florida. We will start by singing the first hymn, which is 337, I Know Whom I Believe In. <laughs> Yeah. 
let me hide myself in Thee. It's time for our prayer requests. We want to remember Russell tonight. He's not able to be with us. He's trying to get over pneumonia. He asked us to made a special request. Please pray for me this afternoon. You know what I answered him? Absolutely. And everyone in recovery, and those not in recovery that need recovery, and Very need much. the Lord. Jeanette and Clinio can't make it this evening, so prayers for them and their family, and they send love and hugs and prayers to us here. And Leo and Angie and Alexandra, I don't see them this evening. Prayers for them as well and their family. Pray for my son David, who's in prison. He has a waiting on a hearing. The Gospel Baptist Church and all of their congregants and their pastor and Janice who asked for continued prayers for knowledge of God's will for her and the power to carry that out. Yes, amen. In the Philippines, the Grace Baptist Church in the Philippines. Sheena and everyone at the Christ Family Fellowship Church in the Philippines. All of our friends, many of them struggling, especially financial. It's very difficult for them there. And all of our friends around the world. <clears throat> and our special friend, again, from the Middle East, who again sent an offering, a very generous offering for us. She's very faithful. She watches every week. She doesn't want her name spoken, but the pastor knows who she is. She said, that's okay. okay. Mozambique. And they've been having hurricanes here. Carmen, excuse me. Excuse me. Carmen in Mexico. Sakuntala in Bali. Mary in the Philippines. She signed a letter with the law there and her father. Her father had to leave, so she's finally alone with her daughter. They're doing very well and they're very happy. She gives praise and thanks mm -hmm. to the Lord for getting her through that. And continued prayers and she sends love and praise and prayers for all of us here as well. It's amazing. Even everything that she's going through, she prays for everybody else. She 
She's incredible. Mm. Her face Lady is amazing. Man. And her daughter, Sherry May. And all of our friends around the world, there are many. We hear from them every week. Any prayer requests? I pray for my granddaughter and her husband, Delana and Jesse. Several in our Alive Again meeting last Friday evening had requested prayer. I learned a lot. Darce did too about some that had problems we, we, we were not aware of. It was an unusual meeting and we spent a lot of time sharing and men were open, I thought. And uh, I just uh, come away from their burden every Friday night, you know. What could I do? What can we say? Lord, teach us how to pray, how to hold these men up. You know that verse that haunts me every time we come to this point in our service. Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. You know, we, we just take prayer so lightly and we, we don't know how to bear each other's burdens. And how are we going to bear their burden if we don't know what it is? So these, these meetings, and we, when we share so much, we find out now. I want you to see a page full of requests. She's written all that down while we're here. It's up on the back. Those requests. And we're lifting them up to the Lord right now. He, he sees and knows every one of those needs, every one of those names. And I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm just trying to be biblical. And we lift these up to the Lord tonight as we pray for Steve's mother and as I think about my own son down in Oklahoma City. He had had the accident with his foot. The person ran over his foot and uh, he's still in a lot of pain from that. It may be weeks or months. He said, Dad, the jobs are opening up now and I'm not able to go. He said, it couldn't happen at a worse time for me. So, you know, I'm trying to keep him, keep his spirits up and ask the Lord to use it in, in his life. So we just all have needs like that. And first, I want to give a prayer of praise before we pray tonight for my wife and what the doctor shared with her Friday. You know what it boils down to? She has to drink more water and eat three square meals a day. She was dehydrated. She's never liked to drink water, but I'm going to tell you, I bear witness, she's been drinking it this week. <laughs> and I, she's got a bottle with her tonight. You see that? That's a living testimony. And, and look at her. She looks fabulous. If, you had, if you'd have followed her around yesterday at the house, you would not believe that the woman had ever been sick a day in her life. I'm telling you. She was in and out of the house and in and out of the garage and in and out of the yard. Took the garbage out and she said, you know, I just got to get my strength back. I said, if you get any more, I don't think anybody will be able to keep up with you. Yeah, when she told the doctor, he said, now how old are you? When did you, will you how old will you be your next birthday? When she went back to get the report. And she said, well, I'm 89. I'll be 90 in July. He said, well, that's just it. And you're not on any medication. She said, no. He said, I think that is just absolutely amazing. He said, I can't give you any medicine that would help you. There's nothing I can do except drink the water. <laughs> so I'm telling you, I know that sounds ridiculous. No, it does not. And that's what my cardiologist says. Anyway. <laughs> that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> I have to eat every two to three hours. I yeah, amen. Well, it, whatever works, well, I'll tell you. That's good. And you know, Russell, uh, he gave in and went to Daniel's dad, you know. He's a physician. We, we were one of my doctors. And I'll tell you, he, he's thorough. He, he really tries to treat each person individually. And, and so Russell finally gave in and went to him, and, and he doctored him and told him he had pneumonia. So I think he got serious and 
and Russell got serious, and uh, we're gonna, maybe going to get that old boy well yet. <laughs> you know what he said today when he said prayer? He said, I will be back. <laughs> so, so tell everybody, I will be back, okay? Well, we need to pray. Let's pray together. Father, we come before you again in this season of prayer, lifting up all these requests that have been made, both here and abroad, some in other parts of the world tonight, that have been listening to our program and have asked to be remembered in prayer. And some we've been praying for for weeks, and we've already heard about many answers to prayer. They've contacted us and told us. And Lord, we rejoice in that, and we praise you for your faithfulness to hear our prayer in our heart. And Lord, we know that you ever live to make intercession for us. And Father, we pray for our children. Lord, I pray for Pauline's son and, and that situation, and I pray, Lord, for my own son, and I pray that uh, Jesse's son and Steve's mother and all these, Lord, that are so personally uh, involved in our in our lives we pray for every day we lift them up again to you and pray that you'll accept our praise and our thanksgiving as you make intercession for us tonight for we ask it all in the name of jesus our savior and our lord amen amen, amen. and then standing our hymn lost to hymn number 359 this is a day that the lord has made now this is our greeting we need to greet everybody. We sing it first. <laughs>
next hymn is hymn number 350, The Church is One Foundation. think about churches not only here in America but around the world. We give our offerings, Lord, to help spread the kingdom's work. And may people know that every dime they give, every dollar, goes to promote the kingdom of God, to share the message of the good news that Jesus so loved the world that he gave his all for us. We praise you, Lord, that you love us so much. So bless us as we give tonight. Multiply the offerings to your glory. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. the first time 
Well, that's amazing to me that we're reaching those people who just love you to death for having a part in our ministry. Thank you. Victory in Jesus. Amen.